Hi, and welcome to today's lesson, Effect on Measure of Center. We're going to look at a couple of situations in which we are either going to change one of the data points, add a new data point, or remove a data point. We're going to see how those affect the mean, the median, and the mode. So first, let's read through our problem. Jalen scored a 90, 88, 91, and a 63 on unit tests for the grading period. Jalen is allowed to retake one test. He makes a 91, which replaces his lowest test grade. How does this impact the data set? So first I'm gonna pick out key information. I know his original test scores. I also know he can retake one test. So I'm going to be replacing that. He makes a 91 and we know we're replacing it with his lowest. So on my first data set, I have 90, 88, 91, and 63, but on my second data set, I have 90, 88, 91, and another 91. Let's go ahead and find the mean, median, and mode. For mean, I'm going to be adding together all of the data points. So 90 plus 88 plus 91 plus 63, and I end up with 332. Then remember, I divide that by four. So for my mean, I end up with 83. Let's find our median. We're going to put our median, uh, we need to put our data set in order from least to greatest. So I have 63, 88, 90, and 91. I'll eliminate my um, values starting on my left and then going to my right till I reach the center. But since there's only four values, I end up reaching the center with two numbers, 88 and 90. On a number line, I know 89's between them, so I can just say my median's 89, but if you wanted to, you could actually add those together and divide by two and get the same answer. For mode, I don't have any numbers that repeat, so there actually is no mode here. And I could check that by putting these in order from least to greatest and seeing that there is nothing repeating. Now let's make some predictions. So I know that I'm gonna be replacing 63 with 91, and because this is such a difference in the numbers, I think that I'm going to increase my mean because this number is much higher than this number. So that's my prediction for mean. For median, I know that when I replace this 63 with a 91, my numbers are gonna pretty much stay in the same order, um, but I do think that my middle two numbers are going to be larger than my middle two numbers were before, just slightly, so I would say that increases as well. I know my mode will increase because 91 matched 91 here, so I would actually have a mode for this one. So let's see if our predictions are correct. My new data is 90, 88, 91, and 91. I would find my mean by adding these points together which gives me 360, and dividing by 4, which is going to give me 90 for my new mean. So I can see I did increase. Next, my median. I have 88, 90, 91, and 91. I will cross off my two outermost numbers, and then I have 90 and 91. Remember, I would add those together and divide by 2 because they're two uh, middle numbers, I would always have to find the mean, um, or I could know that the middle between 90 and 91 is 90 and a half. So my mean did in my median, I'm sorry, did increase a little bit. And then of course my new mode is 91. So let's try this again with a new data set. Here I have Danica who's bowling. She gets a 9, 8, 9, 10, and 9 for her first five frames. If she bowls a three in her next frame, how does that impact the mean, median, and mode? So for this one, I know that I'm going to be um, adding a new number, and I went ahead and put the mean. So take a moment, pause the video, and find the median, the mode, make a prediction, and for my median, I should have gotten 9, my mode, I should have gotten 9. After you made your predictions, these are the predictions that I made, it's time to check by looking at our new data set. So our new mean was 8, 
our new median was 9, and our new mode was also 9. There was no change there. Let's recap. We know that we have an effect on the measure of center for our mean. It's most impacted when a very low or high value is deleted or added, and our median is impacted when the middle data point or number of data points is changed. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for tuning in. Feel free to click to subscribe for this and other lessons. Until next time.